So if you are at all familiar with the PI-99-4A computer, you would recall that Nathan Bradley uh, came up with a voice recognition system for that computer, um, which would allow uh, a few select games to actually be controlled using uh, voice uh, with a headset, a joystick, and a console. And while it worked quite well, it was limited by the fact that you could only use um, use it with certain games. Now in 1988, Radio Shack came up with the VCT200 voice recognition I see shown here, which I had in my parts box for several decades until I decided um, to uh, use it um, recently to see if I could reproduce a voice recognition system on the PI. Now this chip was a, a speaker independent chip based on in a primitive uh, Motorola microcontroller and um, it had a limited vocabulary of five words including go, reverse, stop, left turn, and turn right. So fairly limited However, um, it certainly had the potential of uh, fitting my needs as far as voice recognition. So I put together a prototype based on the technical data sheet that came up, came in with the VCT200. Um, and it consists essentially on the left-hand side of a op-amp LM324 chip, which amplifies uh, the sound coming up from the microphone and then sends it after clipping it to the VCT200 chip which analyzes it and then outputs um, basically uh, commands to uh, a select pins which are then picked up by an, a 74LS125 uh, quad prefade buffer uh, which connects to the joystick port via a DD9 uh, connector. In preliminary testing showed that the circuit actually worked quite well and so I decided to put it in PCB format and here is the uh, initial design I use a program called uh, circuit wizard to uh, design a single-sided uh, PCB and then uh, etch it in a homebrew process the PCB was then assembled as shown here and um, it included uh, a 9 volt battery for a self-contained powered system, um, a on and off switch, an input jack for the microphone and a button for the fire uh, function. Um, this is a voice recognition system um, and um, there is no provision with the vocabulary for a fire function and therefore um, this was uh, included as a physical function uh, separately and wired separately to the uh, joystick port. This is not dissimilar though from what the NDX had uh, with its own uh, joystick. Here's the uh, final product. Uh, packaged inside a project box. There is the fire button on the right hand side um, and uh, it's a quite neat and small project, self-powered so there is no need for an external power supply um, and uh, it uh, kind of matches um, the general outline uh, and color scheme uh, of the uh, initial MDX. On the back hand side we see the uh, power switch, the input jack for the microphone and the ribbon cable which uh, connects to the uh, uh, joystick port on the PI. Um, it seems boxy but actually um, feels quite comfortable uh, in one's hands and uh, really was quite usable particularly with uh, a decent uh, noise canceling microphone which can be seen here uh, next to the mini MDX uh, box. So how does it work? Well I'm gonna uh, 
show you a small uh, video of the voice recognition simulant uh, while playing uh, Jeff Step Willie, uh, created by uh, Rasmus Muskard. Um, and it will give you an idea of how this works. Turn right. Stop. Left turn. Stop. Turn right. Stop. Turn right. Left turn. Left turn. Left turn. Left. Stop. Turn right. Stop. Turn right. Stop. Left turn. Left turn. Stop. Left turn. Stop. Turn right. Stop. Turn right. Left turn. Left turn. Left turn. Stop. Left turn. Turn right. Turn right. Left turn. Left turn. Left turn. Left turn. Turn right. Turn right. Stop. Turn right. Turn right. Oops. Left turn. Left turn. Stop. Left turn. Stop. Left turn. Stop. Left turn. Left turn. Left turn. Left turn. Left turn.